guys, welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. This is Caffeine Gaming. Uh, last time we had the full moon event where we attacked, or we were attacked by Emperor and Empress. Uh, we defeated them. We now have a new, well, we potentially have a new party member, Fuka Yamagishi. She, uh, well, we don't really know what's going on with her right now, uh, but she passed out last night at the end of uh, the full moon event, so that's a problem. Uh, I think we've actually talked to this guy. So never mind on that, or to that lady. Let's go outside. I think we talked to her last time. There's not anything interesting to say anyway, but we're gonna go talk to these people. I heard those people who fainted woke up. So I guess that means they didn't have apathy syndrome? Remember what I told you? They just fainted because they were out all night. That's not exactly apathy syndrome. No, that's not. So the first thing we're gonna do, uh, we are tired right now, so we're gonna go ahead and visit the clinic. Where's the clinic at? There's the clinic. And this is the same thing as always. Uh, we're getting very close to having our courage maxed. Uh, so we won't be having to do this for too much longer. Thank goodness. There's cat fur on my microphone. It's tickling me. <laughs> okay. So our courage is increased. I think we have one more level to go. So we'll be doing that soon. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead back to the classroom. Not many other people to talk to currently. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hang out with Yukari today. All right, so what's gonna happen here? I uh, we went to the cafe. Huh, what happened then? And then you hung out with Yukari for a while. The bond between you seems to be growing. All right, so we won't be getting a level today. We're just hanging out. Uh, we'll be getting one next time we hang out, hopefully. Accepted. Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are going to the hospital to see Fuka today. I wonder how she's doing. Oh, by the way, it's, oh my goodness, Itsuki-san told me that the antique shop in Polonia Mall is open now. Maybe we should go check it out sometime. We're going to be talking about that later. So first of all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save. I don't think I'll lose my fatigue, uh, but I don't actually want to risk losing my fatigue, so. Oh, I heard that the antique shop in Polonia Mall is reopening. Itsuki-san said this owner would help us out. How the hell can an antique owner, sh antique shop owner help us out? Unless she has this amazing item created a million years ago that can annihilate shadows. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Just ignore him, but yeah, you should really check it out. Don't forget, it's located inside Polonia Mall. Like I said, we'll get there later. Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are both at the hospital checking up on Fuka. So we won't be going to Tartarus tonight. No, we're not doing much this evening. You have to be prepared and carry an umbrella during the rainy season. The fight between those umbrellas and the driving wind is still being waged today. That was our special report. Next, the news, followed by a look at everyone in recovery from the apathy syndrome. Alright, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to go into the town. Uh, we're going to play the arcade and we're going to do the horror house. But first, let's talk to this guy again. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Things are not running as smoothly as planned. It still has the potential to turn into a profit, but I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get back on track. Are you willing to increase your investment by this amount? You have to say yes. This is the second flag for this. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. So you have to do this. Don't try and bypass it. You can't say no. There's no bartering. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> it sucks. Okay. Our courage is increased again, and we're gonna go back to the dorm. I'm really hoping our fatigue holds around. It should. Good. Alright, what we got here? Good morning. You might like to know that Yamagishi and Moriyama are healing up well. Uh, so what's next? We need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. We could definitely use her help. Yeah, I agree with that. Alright, morning, huh? Are we up to the Kamakura era yet? I guess not. Oh man, we haven't even reached the Nara era. Well, then let's get through it real quick. First, the Teika reform reforms. They happened in the year 645. Just remember that. Huh? What were they about? Oh, nothing important, really. Later on, in 710, there were there was the... Uh... He oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. Heijo Kyo? That wraps it up for the Nara era. Uh, we want to stay awake here. What? You want to know more? Okay, here's a question for you about the Nara era. 
What's the name of the anthology and consisting of about 4,500 poems leading up to the Nara era? I don't feel like picking on anyone today, so I'll just tell you. It's the Man Yoshu. We're supposed to cover the Kokin, Kokin uh, Wakashu too, but I don't really care. Ask Mr. Ikoda if you want. Ah, I don't care about any of this. I want to get to the Sengoku era. It's calling out to me. Wow, you are the... I swear we get the worst teachers known to mankind. Anyway, let's go talk to Yukari here. She we're not hanging out today. Supposedly Fukasan is still asleep. I'm so worried. Still asleep. That is that is weird. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit up the clinic before we go out to do some other stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. We can go and just fast forward through this as much as we can anyway. I can't bypass the drinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really wish I could. I guess I could get this out, but... Um, Alright. Our courage has changed from fearless to badass. So I believe that means we are currently maxed on courage, so we will not have to do any more clinic runs. We'll do one more for a quest. And then we don't have to play Horror House anymore, so we will be opening up a few days in the evening. Uh, so we won't have to do the arcade anymore. Hooray! That is amazing. We've done it, finally. And we do want to get courage as quickly as possible as we've done. Um, that one's not too bad. And then charm's going to be the next one that we want to get. Did you hear that, uh, what was it, the apathy syndrome? There was a victim at Goku, uh, Gekukan. And his friend, him, he, meh, he was friends with my son Senpai. A victim in your own neighborhood? Oh my, I guess we can't say it's none of our business now. My son's teacher's relative son's calligraphy magister caught apathy syndrome too. Wait a minute, my son's teacher's relative son's calligraphy master. Really, ladies? Good grief. Times have changed, but some things like school ghost stories never die. I used to sneak into school into the school grounds at night. The teachers would give me holy hell for it. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're gonna make a quick trip to the Velvet Room because there's some new stuff that we want to do here. Uh, there's some new quests. We've got three new, um, I don't know, like, fetch quests. We've got Bring Me a Christmas Star, Bring Me a Glasses Wipe, and Bring Me Protein Not for Pros. Scroll down here, we've got, uh, oh, we want to go on another date with Theo here. He wants us to bring him three Jack Frost dolls, which we will discuss later. Uh, the shell of a man and one googly eye, or one Google eyed idol. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually pick this one up. We're also gonna get the shell of a man uh, later. I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. Uh, and let's go actually go ahead and take quest 57 as well. Let's go ahead and exit out of here real quick. I'm gonna try and split these up a little bit so that it's not all in one day. All right, we're gonna go to the antique shop here. Now we talked about this briefly, uh, but yeah, this just opened. Welcome. Officer Kurosawa tells me that you're fighting against the shadows. To the public, this is merely an antique shop, but privately I create weapons. They're not ordinary equipment, however. My methods involve fusing weapons with personas, but you'll need a material to assist the process, such as void, uh, Naginata or knee heel gloves. I'll give you one for free to start out with. Here you go. I'm not going to do this today, but we'll talk about this in the future not too long from now. From now on, you'll need to find your own. The Golden Shadows carry such materials. This is a hint, by the way. We have to defeat the Golden Shadows that run from us to get the materials to build uh, weapons with personas in them. There's another thing you should know, though I'm still researching it, so I'm not certain of this. Depending on the persona you use in the fusion, you can create special weapons. All I can tell you is to experiment for yourself. Ah, I nearly forgot. If you bring me jewels, I'll trade the goods I carry here for them. So yeah, this is where, you remember all those jewels we've been picking up? This is where they come into hand, you know, into handy. Um, there's a variety of different things we can get here. Um, a lot of these items are a lot more powerful than what the pharmacy carries. You've got uh, homunculuses. All the attack mirrors, um, these sutras here do things. Um, we got various gems. And we have a few special things. We've got teddy bears, Japanese dolls, kaleidoscopes, 
We want to get one of these. You need, you need, as you can see down here, you need some turquoise. If you don't have this right now, uh, just be aware that you're going to have to be doing some grinding when you're in Tartarus. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do to get around that. You have to get this in order to do this quest. I don't believe there's any other way you can do it. They've also got some of these, I don't know what these are called, like these, um, items that are used either on near persona or on uh, like enemies We've got frolic king and i dream fest summer dream best friends thunder call valhalla scarlet havoc yeah all of these guys and these seem to be based on um certain persona i believe so i'm not entirely sure but they definitely seem to have vulnerability and vulnerability for one turn but i don't have any topaz anyway uh, you can also trade for cards. These cards are used on your persona. Uh, we have a couple of these already. You can also get some skill cards from her. Some of these are pretty good. Um, yeah, so we might be picking up some of those later. And yeah, you can unite persona here. So we'll talk about that later. I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. Um, but just be aware that that is a thing that we'll be doing later. Okay, let's go ahead and turn in the doll here. Is that? I see. So that is the Google-eyed idol I requested. It looks quite old, but I'm certain someone put a great deal of time and energy into making it. I believe that this resembles a certain persona. You can have this back now. Now as for your reward, I've prepared something that your friend should be well accustomed to. I think it will look good on me as well. What? Oh no. Oh no. Um, real quick here before we go on a date. That item is for Mitsuru. Actually, I don't think we can equip on Mitsuru yet. Not yet. So we'll get there in a second. Mitsuru is not officially part of our party yet. So let's go on a date here. Where are we going again? I don't remember. Oh, so we went to- we're going to the uh, train station essentially, the metro station. Uh, Theo doesn't seem to want to get on the escalator. These stairs, they're moving. Are you okay there? Uh, I've heard of this. It's called an escalator, no? Mm hmm. I shouldn't have any problem writing something like this, should I? Well, I've watched enough stuff on uh, you on internet to see that people don't understand how to use escalators. Despite Theo's words, he isn't budging from where he stands. It seems he can't grasp the timing of it. Uh, let's go ahead and escort I can't Theo. Allow you to do that. Oh, okay, I'll sorry. Go on ahead. Please, allow me. Theo took your hand and finally decided to get on the escalator. Oh, this is rather slow. You both get off safely. Oh. Ah, child's play. Oh my goodness. Theo seems proud for some reason. All right. So, this is a strip mall. A lively place indeed. My cat's scratching on her scratcher. I apologize if you hear that. Mm. This smell. No, no, don't tell me. What? What's going on? Are you going to the duck burger? Whoa, oh no. You can figure out our secret ingredient just by its smell? Okay, so this, yeah, this is the takoyaki place that um Maiko likes I'll to go to. One by one? It'll make you smile so wide your cheeks will fall off. Ah. So good as to make one's cheeks fall off? That would be dire indeed. Theo, I don't think they were meaning literally. Uh, you want to try it out? I think you're taking my will as seriously as you should. Well then, I accept your challenge. I hope that's not the cat meowing. I apologize. In any case, you decide to buy one. You sat along Theo and shared the takoyaki. 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, he's a portable thermometer, if you don't remember from the last time. And this texture, there's no mistaking it. Mm. Um, it's an octopus. Certainly, there is octopus in it. When considering oh. its composition, it could be said to be almost entirely octopus. Really? But using that for cooking. I mean, yeah, we do that. It's apparent now why one's cheeks might fall off. Are they good? Is it good? Theo is pinching his cheeks. Ah. 
He pinched your cheek as well for some reason. Yours seem to be in no danger. Thank goodness. I I what? <laughs> um, thank you. If anything were to happen to you, you are, after all, a valued guest. Valued guest, huh? That hurt, didn't it? I'm so sorry. It's okay. Theo stroked your cheek. Can you not touch me? No touchy. Theo evidently received something from the takoyaki cook. It appears to be a takoyaki shaped cell phone strap. Was the cook pleased with him? Well now, isn't this charming? Would this be considered a souvenir of my time with you? Uh, yes, How I guess. Unfortunate. I've acquired something precious to me. This is just like four when freaking Margaret's just like, oh no, I've grown attached to you. It's your fault, you realize. I didn't do anything. You wanted to come out That's here. That's why I won't let you have this. Okay. Theo laughs. I'm a little confused there, Theo. You walked around the strip mall with Theo. Thank you for showing me such a delightful time today. The flow of time is fixed at a certain speed. And yet it seems there are moments when it passes so quickly. Relativity! Yay! Oh! That car's... Uh, let's get out of the way. Theo pushed you towards the sidewalk. You mustn't allow yourself to become so lost in thought. Stop talking now, to me. <laughs> let us go. <laughs> That'll help me get lo not get lost out of thought or get lost in thought, whatever. Anyway, we went back to the velvet room here. Thank you for answering my request. Well then. Thank you for showing me around Iwatode Station. The machine you called an escalator. It was very interesting. I immediately asked to have one placed in the velvet room. But again, my master refused immediately. It's quite unfortunate, I feel. Still, I was able to experience a new and fascinating taste of your cuisine today. This is a significant day. In order to keep that memory in my mind, I want to recreate the dish we shared. However, I'm having difficulty in determining how to implement the near octopus flavor. Ah, excuse me. Pay no attention to what I just said. Now, as a reward for... I have prepared something special. With this, you can fuse Impusa. It brings to mind a beautiful beast, but she too arises from the sea of your soul. I wish I could gain a greater appreciation for what your soul is like. Alright, and we get the blue scale. So we now have a new persona we can fuse. So yeah, every time you complete a quest like that, um, you can you get something like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go and grab this one right here, which is bring me a protein not for foes, or not for pros. Um, oh, and you can see here, this is something, this is the other quest. And this becomes available when you complete quest 12, I think. It says, I've heard there's a powerful, possibly dangerous medicine in the nurse's office. I would like a sample of it. So we're actually going to go ahead and grab that. Um, and the reason I'm going to grab that is because I'm going to go ahead and save this evening and keep my um, sickness. That way we can actually get that tomorrow. So all you have to do is be sick. And then when you go to the clinic to go to like the nurse, um, he'll give you that thing. But you can only do it once and you can't drink. Well, we'll talk about it later. Don't worry about it. But you just need to be sick when we do that. So just be aware. I'm going to go ahead and save here. We've done a little bit today. I was actually going to go a little bit further, but I'm pretty happy with what we've done so far. So next time we're going to go ahead... We've got three quests to take care of. Um, we still have the lead metal, which I didn't complete. Uh, we'll get the strong medicine and the, the protein not for pros. That'll be available on the 16th. So we still have a few days, so you can actually wait to pick this one up if you want. But I do want to have it in my inventory just in case I forget, because I haven't, like, I, I tend to forget this stupid quest. Like, these ones, I don't know why. I don't know what it is. Um, so anyway, next time we'll get the strong potion. And we'll continue on with a whole bunch of our social links and hopefully we'll get to talk to Fuka and actually bring her on board. But I don't know. We'll see you next time.